Zachary says, Eric Watts can be a gem. Uh, Dom, you want to throw any uh, knowledge on us on Eric Watts? Yeah, so um, I, I, I'm going to leave my Eric Watts assessment as there's still a lot to be determined, okay? Um, he definitely has some, you know, he, he shows some good pop. He checks all the boxes, like, you know, height, weight, you know, uh, size, physicality, all that stuff. Um, he He's tall. He's big. And I think that works to his detriment. He is mm -hmm. uh, he plays very tall, stands straight for it, stands straight up way too much. Like that, that's just you know that might get that 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 gets him by at UConn. It, it's mm -hmm. not going to get him by in the NFL. Um, he just got to learn to play with better leverage. Um, of I mean, I know this is kind of a lazy take, but very like I could see him, you know, kind of following the footsteps of JFM. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I could see him being a, a solid run defender on the edge. I don't know if he has much in terms of a pass rush arsenal yet, but, you know, um, is strong and can get there with power. He does good, uh, does a lot of good work with the with the games up front, you know, uh, kind of picking and, and on those twists and those stunts and so on and so forth. Takes up a lot of space. Um, like I said, I, I just think he's, you know, that big and strong and physical um not much more than that um maybe you know in, in the developments of like a young you know rookie rookie or michael clemens you know how he came in and he plays with mm -hmm. his ass on fire 100 percent of the time that's what you get in watts he, he's got a motor that doesn't stop um you know technically like he he understands the game of football he understands what you know he knows how to read his blocks he knows how to um stack and shed very well i just don't know if he's much more than an early down run defender right now um mm -hmm. pr probably a guy if, if you look at the pecking order ryan and i don't know if you saw it on twitter i'll, I'll see if i can find it um mm -hmm. i think zach rosenblatt posted like all the jets uh, undrafted free agents in mm -hmm. order of what they got in guarantees and watts was up there first watts got over 220 million uh, 220,000 guarantees so that if you follow the money he's going to probably have a chance to make the team um i don't know what kind of role he's really going to play i don't know if it's going to be anything um you know that that's going to impact the defense year one at least but um yeah, uh, that, that's what I got from Watts. Like I said, I, I I like the physicality. I like the motor. Um, there's just not much there. It's a big, a big hulking, strong ball of clay that really needs to be kind of molded. That sort of stuff gets me excited because if there's one area that I trust this regime to kind of like have on lock or at least be able to develop people, it's on that defensive line. And and if they're giving him a good amount of guaranteed money, they see the the little block of clay that he could be and, and mold him mm -hmm. into maybe our next uh JFM. So, you know, that'd be yeah. that'd be freaking sweet to see. Yeah. So him and Braden McGregor, the D, the other edge that they signed mm -hmm. on draft fridge for Michigan, Michigan. Um they both yeah, they both got some some hefty um guaranteed money. So I could see them both sticking around. Um and it's funny because they're kind of similar, you know, they're, they're, they're kind of similar in what they do. Like I said, they both play. What I do like about them is um, you don't have to worry about effort for either of these guys. Like they're playing through the whistle. They're playing, you know, they, they got that, that motor. They, you could tell they love to play football. Um, I, I think that Watts has a little bit, he's got a little, he's a little bit more, got a little bit of the advantage because he's got a bigger frame. He's got a strong, mm -hmm. you know, he's stronger. Um, both of them aren't going to set the world on fire as ter in, in regards to their athletic prowess. Um, mm -hmm. But I think that McGregor right now um, has some, you know, ha ha has more length in, in terms of arm length and can probably affect the pass, the passer more in, in a pass rush set, not like get off like, like we got in Bryce Huff, but you know, he's more of a well-rounded pass rusher right now. Um, Watts is probably more um, just bull rush, you know, tendencies. He does a lot of good things with the stunts, like I talked about. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't know if he's, you're going to mine him up on the end and, and just kind of pin his ears back and get the quarterback. That's just not his game. What's up, guys? Matt O'Leary from Talking Jets. If you liked that video, please make sure to subscribe and follow for more New York Jets content.